Okay, so it's a high stakes battle for Lok Sabha 2024, 28 seats from Karnataka. Who has the edge? Last time the BJP in 2019 it swept and then in 2023 Karnataka Assembly election the Congress swept with 135. We have the Sutradhar of the Congress party in Karnataka, the Deputy Chief Minister, Mr. D.K. Shiv Kumar. Thank you very much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. What according to you is the big issue, uh, Mr. Shiv Kumar, for this election of 2024? Mr. Modi says this is about making Viksit Bharat, developed India and that only he and the BJP can do that. See. Any political party will have to have their confidence. But one thing I would like to ask uh, the BJP and the national leaders of the BJP, what they had promised, what they have delivered. They doesn't have face to ask the vote. They could not deliver. They could not change the lives of the people of uh, uh, this country. Whatever they said that they are going to bring black money and distribute it to the common man, which is that black money, they did demonetization. After demonetization, they said that they will secure black money. What is the black money? They said they are going to double the income of the farmers, double the income of everyone. What is that they doubled? Where they stopped the price rise? Inflation was too high. Nothing has happened. They are looking at only on emotional issue. We are looking at development of developing an individual. So that is the biggest strength between them. So BJP has, doesn't have the voice to ask their votes. But tell me, Mr. Shikumar, uh, now the BJP is also saying they are giving Modi ki guarantee. It's like Congress gave five guarantees last time. They are saying it is Revedi, Freebie, you know, state does not have the budget. So, Modi ki guarantee versus Congress ki guarantee. That is why Modi has understood that the uh, development of an individual is better. First, if anyone is strong, if you are strong, your family will be strong. That is why he, he first he said that uh, we are spoiling the state and we are spoiling the financial. Now he understood that. That is why he said he could not give any individual guarantees. So he is speaking on guarantees on other level. But that is the, he has copied our guarantee. Mm. The word guarantee itself. And they are not speaking on their party. They are speaking about the individual. That means it is Modi. Without Modi, nothing, no BJP is there in this country. That is what they are sending, trying to send a message. But we are not like that. It is the party and the India alliance. But if you look at Karnataka, you know, comparison between parliament election and state election, there is always a differential advantage for BJP. You could call it Modi factor or what you want to call it, but about 10% vote extra the BJP gets. How do you plan to contest that this time? This time it will not happen like that because here we have been committed. 10 years of Modi rule has not changed any lives of the uh, people. And in the 10 years of their uh, rule in the national level, and there was a double engine government at midpoint of time, they could not succeed in that uh, double engine government also. I think they have failed in it. I think uh, in Karnataka, they will not gain whatever they are looking at. Let's talk about Bengaluru city because you are the Bengaluru development minister. A uh, lot of talk about water scarcity this time. Summer is very hot and uh, peak uh, this time in Bengaluru. Uh, wh what do you do to address that problem? What are you going to do to address that problem? That is why I just fighting for work for water. I want Mekeda to. Delhi government is not supporting to make make that. Even at the BJP was in the power in the national and the state level, they could not change the lives or they did not give permission for make that. Too. That is why I am just fighting it. Now it is the nature. No one can stop the nature. There are more than 230 taluks which have been dried up. More than 7,000 borewells have been dried up in Bangalore. But still I am managing it and at least people are happy with the way the attention I have given it and I'm solving all those problems. Today, Mr. Rahul Gandhi was asked why he's not, uh, the, his candidature from Amethi is not getting declared. You are managing his Vainat campaign. I believe you, are, you were there a few days back. You're going again tomorrow. Why, why is the Congress party not declaring that he is the Amethi candidate? No, it is the party, the national level party and the uh, central election committee to, to take a call. I'm not uh, the right person to answer. I, if anything in Karnataka, I can answer. Mm. I am a president of the party, I, am, I can answer here. Since he is travelling all over the country, it is a border of my constituency, my state. So I am going to campaign for uh, to help him out. So tell me, uh, last time Car Congress had just one MP, which is your brother, Mr. D.K. Suresh. This time as state president and deputy CM, uh, what is your number? What, what, what gives you confidence that you will get more than one that you got last time? See, last time I, I fully agree that uh, we, the mandate was not uh, uh, good. 
and uh, we never expected we thought that we will reach the double uh, digit that did not happen but this time the double engine has completely failed and we have uh, delivered what we have spoken and we are going to get a good number uh, we have confidence that we will reach uh, nearly 20 numbers you you have confidence that you will reach at least 20 out of 28 in uh, in karnataka why, why why do you say that no it, it is the, the faith and the love what is telling uh, people are showing to us after this first lap, I'll just be traveling in the northern state of Karnataka. Then I'll come out with the numbers later, the exact numbers in the later. So this time BJP and JDS have also tied up. They're saying arithmetically it's a formidable combination. No, it may good look for them. But uh, people of the Karnataka, they know that they are going to lose. That is why they have joined together. Uh, uh, I think even JDS may not win even a single seat. That is why they have joined together. You know the war of words, what happened with Mr. Devagora and son and the BJP. What Prime Minister spoke in Mysore one year back, you please recall those words. Now, after joining to them, they have become very clean. And finally, uh, today again Rahul Gandhi was asked uh, about how many seats BJP will win nationally. He said uh, when he started, he thought it would be 180, now it is only 150. But no opinion poll is suggesting this. All opinion polls are saying BJP will get close to 300. No, I don't believe in the opinion polls. Opinion polls are with the small uh, numbers. I don't believe myself with the opinion polls. Practically, there is a different issue which we have to look at. Okay, and your, according to you, the biggest issue in Karnataka this election? Is the price rise, the promises what BJP could not give, unemployment problem, and whatever the promises they had delivered uh, in in water issues, Bekedat, Madai, is a very big issue, and they are just, uh, our tax, our rights, they are not giving any proper uh, attention to the federal structure, whatever taxes we are not giving, proper share is not being given. That is the issue people are looking at. And Modi is not a factor? Modi, no. There is no factor of Modi here. There is no Modi wave or Ram wave. And you, there's no Modi wave, there's no Ram wave. You don't think the Ayodhya, Ram Mandir, Pran Pratishta has any electoral impact in Karnataka? Uh, nothing in Karnataka, nothing in Karnataka. See, we all are Hindus, we believe in our own religion. We respect it here. It is not the case here. Everyone knows that Rajiv Gandhi opened Raman there. That is why in Karnataka nothing will happen. It is a more secular state. Okay. So, Mr. D.K. Shukumar, I am once again asking, you are saying 20 is your number out of 28 in the state of Karnataka? Of course, we may cross a good number with 20. Okay. There you have it, the Deputy Chief Minister and the State President of the Karnataka Congress, Mr. D.K. Shiv Kumar, uh, saying that he is confident that Congress will get at least 20 out of the 28 seats here in Karnataka and that uh, he is front and centre. There is no Modi factor, there is no Ram fa factor, uh, he says. With uh, camera person Riaz, this is Zaka Jacob for CNN News 18.